To create a perpendicular line through a given point, you have two situations. One, the point is either on the line, or two, the point is off the line. Either way, you can think back and do a bisector line, or a perpendicular bisector, to create a perpendicular line. If you guys remember right, we could only do that with a segment, which means we need two endpoints. Here, lines don't have endpoints. So, using our point here, we can create an endpoint. So if I come over here on my compass, and let's say I pick a point right here at one and a half. If I mark my line here, and then come to the other side, and mark my line as well, slide my paper over here. Alright, now what I've done is I've created two endpoints so that I have a segment where my original point here is the midpoint. Well now, if I create that perpendicular bisector through there, I'm going to have a nice perpendicular line. Think back, how did we do that? Get on the endpoint, go beyond halfway, and create a mark up above and down below. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Right here, remember which hole you used. Arc above, arc below. Now, connect the dots, or connect the two crosses, and you're going to have a perpendicular line right through that midpoint. By creating the two endpoints and creating this segment here, we were able to bisect it using our common bisect to segment construction. And if you guys remember, that also makes a perpendicular line. Now, if we come over to the point where it's off the line, we can do something very, very similar. Using our compass and being right there on that point, I can make an arc so that it comes down here and goes through my line. Here I have created two endpoints once again. As once you have those endpoints, you just have a really tiny segment that we can bisect or chop in half. So let's bisect it. Again, bisector construction, go beyond halfway, make a nice mark up above, mark down below. Remember which hole you used. Come to the other side, do the same thing. Mark above, mark down below, and we're going to have a nice perpendicular line that goes right through the point right here that we started with off of our line. So, either way you look at it, it's a bisector construction. Create two endpoints so that you can bisect the tiny little segment and that will give you a perpendicular line.